This is blogger Nikita Dementov. He lives in the eastern city of Kharkiv and he's explaining to his followers how their donations are being spent to help civilians on the front line. Across Ukraine, along shifting front lines from the north to the east and to the south, civilians are under attack. When they emerge from basements and shelters, as here in the town of Irpin, close to Kiev, it is often to a landscape they can neither recognize nor comprehend. Homes destroyed, hospitals overwhelmed, heating, water and electricity cut off, and with limited avenues of escape. That's why safe passage is so important now. Humanitarian corridors out of Volnavaka and the port city of Mariupol in the south failed on Saturday because of continued Russian attacks. Negotiations are said to be ongoing. Ukraine's resistance has done much to slow Russia's ground advance. So heavier firepower is being unleashed from the air. Yet the Ukrainian government's urgent calls for a no-fly zone have gone unanswered. Which explains this angry warning by President Volodymyr Zelensky to the NATO alliance. All the people who die from this day forward will also die because of you, because of your weakness and because of your lack of unity. NATO is not willing to shoot down Russian aircraft and risk being drawn into a wider war with Russia. So Ukraine must act alone for as long as its air defenses last. This is cockpit video from a Russian helicopter gunship. And this is the sort of response Ukraine's army is able to deliver. One helicopter gunship down. And in the north, a Russian warplane is downed, its wreckage smoldering among suburban homes. For those who do make it out of besieged and bombarded parts of the country, it is to Lviv that many come, for now a place of safety behind the lines. Irina and her boys have fled Kharkiv, leaving husband Ruslan behind to fight. It is a feature of war that some are inspired to act with great courage. In this case, a seven-year-old Dima comforting his mum. We are scared. The children are terrified and they don't know why they need to leave their home. I don't understand why I need to run away and leave my husband behind. We left him alone to protect our city. Moscow says it is not attacking civilian targets. The claims to the contrary are fake news, that the destruction in city centers and residential areas across the country is the work instead of Ukrainian forces and saboteurs. Try telling that to the people here. Try saying it to the people under occupation in the south of the country, in places like Kherson and Berdyansk, and on the route of Russia's advance in Zaporizhia. All three places saw large protests on Saturday against the presence of Russian troops. And try telling Irina and her children that Russian forces are liberating Ukraine, as they claim, from Nazis and nationalists, as they make their way into a bomb shelter, even here, where they had hoped to escape the war. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Lviv.